hi guys um welcome to another video i know it's been over a year um yeah i'm now 19 i'm in university so things are quite different from the last time i posted a video but i will address that in another video maybe a like life update video or like a random vlog but i'll get to the point if we look at the title and the thumbnail you can see that this is a valentine's day preparation vlog um and yeah that's what i'm coming back with so another part of the life update just mini one um i've got a boyfriend who lives in london and i no longer live in london i live in portsmouth for university so um valentine's day is going to be something quite like important especially for a long distance relationship and um yeah he's coming down the weekend of valentine's day so like that being 17th so friday the 17th valentine's day is on a tuesday so i'm just gonna get to it um tell you guys the plans and stuff and all of the things that i'm planning on doing so the plan is he's gonna come down from london he's told me not to get him anything which i did promise i wouldn't get him anything he made me promise and i don't really break promises but if i'm not gonna get him anything then i need to you know go all out and surprise him at least a little bit so i'm planning to decorate this place and just make things kind of special and yeah um so that's that's the plan all he wanted was dinner cooked when he got here but that's what happens every time he gets here he gets dinner cooked um even when he comes to mine when i'm back in london or when i go to his um i might just cook him dinner you know what i mean so me cooking him dinner isn't something special so i wanted to do something a little bit extra especially since it's not only going to be valentine's day but it's going to be a six month anniversary for us so you know doing a little bit extra but um this segment is not just about me like telling you what i'm doing for valentine's day in terms of the decor and stuff it's me showing you the decor that i've gotten so far because i went shopping today and i'll tell you everything that i got i got a few decorations i went out to like the local high street to look for decorations and genuinely there's not a lot um the one thing about portsmouth is that like the shops and like everything around is quite limited like there isn't that much so it looks like i'm gonna have to be ordering quite a lot of things online but what i got so far i got these from poundland forgot how much they were i think they were they might have been a pound they might have been one pound fifty but they're just rose petal like fairy lights and they're pink i'm going for a pink theme as you can see there's a lot of pink in my room i got some AAA batteries which will be for some lights that i'm planning on getting some led lights um which i might put a picture here yeah um just because i feel like it will add to the atmosphere and i've been wanting led lights for ages but i didn't want to get strip lights just in case it causes damage to the paint and i have to pay for it and i don't want to do that then I got these AA batteries, which will go in these. So that's what I got from Poundland. Oh, I also got a pink bath mat from Poundland because my current bath mat is like, it's just cream. So I'm gonna put down this pink one just so everything is like within the theme. Um, so that's what I got from Poundland. This was four pounds. I got this heart banner um which i might just put in the bathroom because i don't like it that much um that's the design on it um i got this from card factory and it was one pound or 99p got this heart pillow which i'm probably gonna put on my bed that pillow Sorry guys, I've got absolutely no sense of direction at all. Yeah, that pillow, um, it normally goes on my bed when I make my bed, obviously. As you can tell, my bed isn't made. I didn't really 
I need to just clean up, but when my bed's made, that would be in the middle of my bed. I think I'm gonna replace it with this and put that one on my desk chair or something. And this was four pounds from Primark. I got this from Tesco. It's just hanging heart decorations. Um, I think they might have been three quid, which is kind of ridiculous for what it is. But I just thought they were really cute and I liked them more than this. Um, so they're gonna be hanging from the ceiling. And then the last thing I got was again from Primark. This was two pounds and they're just microfiber cloths, but they're Lilo and Stitch themed. Um, I've got this thing for, for Stitch. I love Stitch. Um, so I'm just gonna look at them. I'm gonna open them up and look at them. But also I needed some, they're like microfiber cloths, but I needed some kind of like tea towel tea towels and they didn't have any like stitch themed tea towels um they just had like oh, this is what one of the cloths look like I, I think i'll use this one i mean it's not like a massive thing to use for a, as a tea towel but the only tea towels they had were just plain pink and i didn't want to get plain pink i wanted to get something cute so i just thought and it's got hearts on it so i feel like it's slightly more valentine's-y or even like this one's cute that one's so cute um but the other ones i'll use when it isn't valentine's day obviously but i just i love stitch these are so fucking cute and this one's really cute i might i might use this one instead just because it's all love themed um but yeah that's what i've got so far yeah i've just got i've got a lot to do and you know time is going quite quickly as of recently for some reason so yeah um so that's the update for the vlog i will come back to you maybe in a couple days if i order something on amazon or if like i don't know when i'm doing my hair maybe um just whenever i have an update i'll update you so i'll see you guys a bit later I'm back. I know I was just here, but I'm back. Same day, literally a couple minutes later, because I realized I forgot to show you the card. Got this card a little while ago before I decided on the pink theme. So that's why the card isn't pink. Um, like, as you can see here, it kind of, it goes 3D. So I think that's kind of cute. The pop-up card, which is kind of cool, I think. It was two quid. Um, I really hope my boyfriend doesn't like watch these videos well this video and figure out like the prices of everything um but I like it I think it's cute it says to my wonderful husband or whatever like it's cute I will be back soon hopefully sooner rather than later because time is getting on is the 7th of February I have a week until actual Valentine's Day. I have over a week until he comes. Actual Valentine's Day, I'm actually not doing anything. It's kind of sad, but it is what it is, you know? Anyway, see you guys later. Hey guys, um, I am back. It has been a couple of days and I have a bit of a bigger haul for you. Um, I went to Asda. I went to Primark and I got some packages from Amazon today. So, you know, I'm going to go through first. I'm going to go through what I got at Asda. Um, I only went to Asda because I saw some cool like little things on TikTok. So altogether at Asda, I spent £18. So the first thing that I got is this, this mug, which is like, you know, but, but hear me out i told you like before that i have a bit of a stitch obsession i will get to that in a second but one for me one for him look how cute that is and she's blowing a kiss and then he's got all kisses on him that is adorable these were three pounds each um which you know can never go wrong with matching mugs so 
those are the first things then I've got myself a a stitch um and yeah this is not for him this is for me but he will be part of the decoration um it was eight pounds um i just think he's cute and he'll be like good decor somewhere since there's some lilo and stitch theming going on um what else did i get i got some heart shaped marshmallows these were a pound. this was eight pounds just in case i didn't say it before these were two pounds actually these were two pounds um i just think they're cute even the packaging is quite nice um i'll see if i can find any ribbon or something to tie around it or something along those lines i'm not sure but yeah two pounds for that and then the last thing that i got at asda were these packs of valentine's themed chocolate coins um so they were one pound each i got two so all together spent 18 pounds um okay so next shop that i went to was primark i'm gonna offer a quick disclaimer to any family watching um i am a fully grown adult thank you um because i got some pajamas um some sexy looking pajamas so i'll show you that in a second the first thing i got was this little sponge because my boyfriend has a loofah here um so i thought just for this kind of valentine's day thing he won't have a loofah he'll have like a heart sponge because i needed to replace his loofah anyway um just because you know how loofahs they build up bacteria and stuff and that's a bit nasty so i needed to replace it anyway so i thought i would just get a little valentine's day sort of one um so you can see from a distance but it's it's like furry and soft here but yeah it's heart sponge and now I'll get into the the kind of sexy underwear night clothes which again family members I am a grown a grown adult so but it's just this nighty, it comes with matching panties. I just think it's cute. Um, I got it in a size extra small. I am a size eight, so I've got it in an extra small. This was 12 pounds. Um, the material looks good enough quality. I think it's quite cute, um, flowery and stuff. So, you know, something different. I don't buy a lot of this sort of stuff. So I just thought I would treat myself um for valentine's day and yeah and the sponge was two pounds i think yeah two pounds now on to the last couple things i'll open a couple amazon packages with you guys so the first package i ordered a little while ago and this is for my hair so this beads not that many actually but um i got beads it's 100 beads, which I might have needed a bit more, but it kind of is what it is. Um, so I ordered beads because I'm going to put beads in my hair. Um, I'm going to have pink and black hair, but you'll, I'll get to that when we're on to that kind of section of the video. But these beads are for my Valentine's themed hair. So that's why I included it in this kind of all thing. Um, I swear, like, the people at the front desk, next package, um, the people at the front desk probably think, like, what is going on with this girl? Because, like, I had lashes come here because I needed some new lashes. So I had lashes come, I think, on Monday. And then these two packages come today. And then I have pink rose petals coming tomorrow um which i won't show you guys until i decorate the room it's nothing to shout about they're just pink fake rose petals um so i'll show you all of that when i'm decorating the room but this is what i'm excited about okay it looks like nothing when you're looking at it like this but i'm so excited so excited so excited if you know that reference 
so excited if you know that reference but they are my led lights they are my led lights which they will stick to certain parts of the house and and glow so i'll see if they work just give me a second okay guys so i'm back with batteries and it takes three trip away batteries so i'm just gonna put those in and then you put the back on just screw it i guess and this is the remote it comes with two i'm not sure why there's two so these are the colors that come with it which is great just pull out that bit and switch on oh wow i'm not sure if you can see but the color is quite bright and you can dim it Okay, you can't see it very well because of the lighting, but then that's blue. And then it transitions from colour to colour to make it flash. So that is really cute. Then off button. But yeah, that is really cute. I'm not going to put them up until I decorate my room so that my boyfriend doesn't notice like anything different when we're on FaceTime. That is that the next... Um, segment that you guys are probably going to see is going to be me doing my hair which I'll speak for it a little bit but I think most of it will just be a time lapse um I know this video is probably going to be long but I'm trying to not make it too long because I know some people don't like long form content but I love long form content so I kind of wanted to do some of that but um yeah altogether I spent quite a lot today um or not a lot but I think altogether in terms of like the decorations I haven't been frugal, let's just say. So hopefully he'll be impressed and hopefully he'll like all of it um, because I'm practically done buying decorations now. Um, but I have something else up my sleeve and hopefully it'll work, but I will speak to you about that closer to the time or on the, on the day that he's supposed to come around. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys. Um, taking out my hair tomorrow actually so i will see you guys tomorrow bye bye Hi guys, I'm so sorry in advance if the audio is a bit bad. Um, I have my ring light working and my microphone is back in London because I left out home like an idiot, but I'm trying to speak kind of loud so hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, as you can tell, I've just, I've washed my hair and dried it and I look a bit of a mess, but sorry, I got a phone call, um, but yeah so i'm just gonna fill you guys in on what i'm doing so i'm about to braid my hair i'm doing pink and black so this is the color pink that i'm getting and this is the black so if you guys are new to my channel i braid my own hair i've been doing it since i was like 14. i i just do my own hair it's something that i do i enjoy doing it so I've got, I think, three packs of 1B and then two packs of this like bright pink. And I'm going to just do like a whole load of pink braids everywhere. So it's not going to be peekaboo braids. It's just going to be like black and pink, like in my Draculaura era. If you guys know about Draculaura and Monster High, then 
but um yeah i'm gonna be in my draculaura era for valentine's day so i'm just gonna get on with it if you guys kind of want to see the method or some sort of tutorial i do have a video on my channel um where i like did a tutorial on how i do my braids my method hasn't really changed um but yeah i think i'm just gonna get on with it i'm just gonna do a time lapse um or whatever so i'll see you guys in a little bit hi guys so i just finished my first braid put some beads on the end i've just noticed something about the pink hair because the pink hair isn't pre-stretched and like the black hair is pre-stretched but i feel like with ultra ultra colorful bright colors <laughs> ultra ultra colorful bright colors with ultra colorful hair it's you can't really find pre-stretched um it's just like really dense at the bottom so it's like a dense all the way through it's like the density doesn't change um so it's very flat and straight at the bottom at the ends so i'm having to cut so i use my scissors and change the density throughout the braid so as you can see it's a bit like rough and it's going to take me forever to do my hair now it's going to take a lot longer and i tried stretching it and stuff but it doesn't make a difference i'm just i'm so used to using the luxury like pre-stretched and stuff that i kind of don't know what to do with this like unstretched hair um but i'm just glad not all of my hair is going to be pink because that would have been such a headache but yeah well it's been a long time since i've spoken to you guys it's been quite a while how are you guys doing like what's going on with you guys like and to i've had some new subscribers even though i haven't been posting on youtube in a while i feel like i'll probably lose some subscribers when i post but like new subscribers hi i'm Raya, bt dubs um how are you guys doing what's what's going on with you guys just tell me in the comments just like because i'm actually interested you guys have missed a lot from what's been going on with me so i've missed a lot with what's been going on with you guys so just let me know um and yeah my social media handles are all the same just in case you guys wanted to go and follow them and don't mind my edges i swear i wore a wig for my birthday in december and i wore it like consistently like installed it uninstalled it just consistently until like i think just before new year's um, bro, my edges to just haven't recovered. It's really annoying. But, you know, they just look really bitty and not as, like, good as they did back in the day. But, yeah, I was just on the phone to my mum. So that's, that's kind of why... There was kind of a cut off but i'm not gonna speak to you guys the whole way through doing my hair i just just thought i would like speak about how annoying this pink hair is and just let you guys know i haven't braided my hair in black in so long last time i had black hair it was faux locks and that was great i really liked that um i didn't at first but once i warmed up to it and put some like i put some charms in it so it was kind of cute but i haven't actually had black braids since like 2020 like three years i mean two years and a few months i would say but like it's been like since 2020 that i've had black braids but i don't think i'll be doing a full head of black for a very long time because i just like express myself through my hair like self-expression through my hair but you see what I mean about 
like how the density of the braid just goes down gradually with the pre-stretched hair it's just so it's just perfect it's like no work needs to be done all i need to do is plait and that don't take no no time at all part grip plait and no these aren't knotless braids i'm not one of those girls that can be doing the knotless braids perfectly i just stick with my knots and they work for me <laughs> um but you know but yeah um probably i'll probably be back with a time lapse once more of my hair's done and then i'll speak through stuff a little bit more who knows i don't know i'm just kind of going with the flow at this point i haven't done my braids on camera in a long time i haven't done anything on camera in a long time i'm just trying to find my groove like find my find youtube ray art again that's what i'm doing but um yeah this hair isn't going to be as long as my last what you last saw me with that was down to my bum because i used like i like doubled up i'm not doubling up with this i'm just beading it so yeah so this is what the clear beads clear sparkly ones look like they cute or whatever i'm gonna do six on each braid so there's six here but i just hope a hundred is enough like if it isn't i'm gonna be so sad i might just do five but then that would be enough for that would only be enough for 20 braids it's kind of just not good enough is it it's kind of just not good enough i might just like i don't know what i'm gonna do i might just have to mix mix beads on the black ones because i have like regular clear beads i have them in in this bag so i think on the black ones i'm gonna do pink and these clear beads just because there's gonna be a lot more black hair than there is pink hair on my head because it's gonna be black and pink but it's not like I don't know. Anyway, I will see you guys when more of my hair is actually done. Hey guys, um, so it's the next day. I know I'm in the same t-shirt. I'm just gonna shower after I finish my hair. Still showering the next day, guys. It's never that deep. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's the next day. As you can see, I'm always finished my hair. I just wanted to rant to you guys a little bit and just like be open and honest because I've been kind of editing as I go with this video um, just because I'm getting back into the groove of things like it's been over a year that I haven't been like on YouTube and it's just like I feel like the video might be too long or I feel like I might be being boring or I'm not letting my personality shine through enough and I'm just like I'm doing so many things to try and like make it not boring like a lot of that hair section like I was gonna completely cut out, especially since I got a couple phone calls. So it was a bit like jaggedy in terms of the cuts, like, because obviously I film on my phone. Um, but like, I don't know, I'm just gonna keep everything in. It's gonna end up being a very long video. Feel free to watch to the end. It will be worth it, I hope. Um, but I just wanted to like, just, tell you guys how i feel about it like it's a bit odd coming back to youtube after all this time i still i love youtube and that's why i'm coming back like i just like speaking to a camera i like being able to run and being able to do fun things and like documenting it and being able to look back and sharing it with other people it's just something that i enjoy doing like it's just my own thing you know um but that's that's it like i'm i've come back to it as a hobby just because like uni is hard and being away from home is hard being in a new city especially a city with so little to do <laughs> um and because i live in a studio like there isn't really like that much of a social life like i've got friends that i speak to but i haven't like gravitated towards like a really really like tight group or like people that i'm ultra tight with which is kind of like a bit alien to me um it's a bit because like with my friends back home like 
obviously I was like in close proximity to my close friends so it's it was never that deep my close friends are all in London so it's just like ah well some of them are in different unis so some of them are in like Birmingham Bournemouth like different places but it's just like it's kind of lonely but I feel like I'll speak to you guys a bit more about that like maybe in my next video because I might just do like a random vlog um which will have some of like just life updates and me ranting a bit and that kind of stuff because this is not the video for that but I just like I just want to be transparent like I don't want this video to only be about like oh I bought this and I'm doing this and I'm doing this I just wanted to speak to you guys because that's what this whole YouTube channel is about it's just about speaking you know and it kind of be in an open space for me and an open space for you guys because obviously it's my channel but I'm kind of growing a community I mean we're small in numbers but we're mighty um and yeah I'm just glad I have YouTube as an outlet and that's why I've kind of brought it back into my life because I needed it as an outlet and I will give you guys an explanation as to why I haven't posted in so long um but yeah but we're almost done with the hair I've I've like been thinking that I need to buy pink clothes because I don't wear pink like I really don't wear pink I have this thing in my head where I'm like do I even look good in pink I don't think I look good in pink so I don't buy pink so I'm gonna have to go out and buy pink clothes <laughs> for the hairstyle I know but I, I said Dracula era earlier and I'm being dead serious. I am gonna be showing out while I have this hairstyle. It's it's got to be Dracula season for about a month or so. Like while I've got this hairstyle in. It's it's compulsory. Cause recently I've just been wearing loads and loads of brown. Cause that's kind of my favourite colour to wear. I love wearing brown. Um but that doesn't exactly I mean it doesn't not work with pink but like you know pink goes with pink pink goes with white so some more white clothes and I've got a lot of black clothes anyway so I don't think I'll need to buy too much and I'm speaking as if like uni life isn't expensive and I'm like oh yeah I need to buy clothes it's like that is not a priority I don't even have like a sorry I don't even have like a, a outfit for if me and my boyfriend end up going out for dinner actually I do I have a dress which is pinky purpley but it would still work with this hair practically equal so yeah it was just me ranting a bit i'll be back when i'm on my last braid and maybe i'll speak through i don't know i don't you know what i'll be back when my braids are done and then i'll just like I'll speak to you guys while i'm putting on mousse because like while i'm separating hair and like sorting out like like prepping the pink hair before i braid it because uh, that's something that I have to do in fact I might speak you guys through that just in case you guys want to know in fact no I won't I just I really feel like the video is going to be way too long because like it's six days before my boyfriend gets here I still need to do things like like cook the food and show you guys that decorate the flat and show you guys that get ready for when he comes here and like do the whole like shower routine and building up scents and the makeup and the outfit and this that and the other like I need to do like so much more in this video and I don't want it to end up being like coming up to two hours I can do an hour video like that's cool or just over an hour that's completely fine but anything that's edging on two hours is a bit too much so yeah I will see you guys when my hair's done um it'll probably be when I'm doing something to do with like 
I don't know. I'll see you guys soon. Um, I'll just show you when my hair's done. I'll show you. And then that will be like a short clip. Walking down a dark and hot way. Uh, everybody turns to look at you. It's not because you're different. It's just because you're so scary cool. Sin is a star mystery with a smile. You dropped it gorgeous. Dropped it gorgeous. This girl gives me the creeps, but when I'm with my peeps, you can't ignore us. It's where the cool kids rule. Monster, monster high, monster high, monster, monster high. Okay, so the hair's done. Um, so this is the overall result. These are the beads. I'm happy with it. Um, I'm just gonna put some mousse on it and call it a day. But yeah, so as I said, it was just gonna be a short clip and I will see you very, very soon. Um, whenever there's some sort of progression, I might, it might even be like Friday when I next see you, unless I buy something. And I've told myself not to buy anything. So I will see you soon enough. Hi guys. So I am back. I've got some more things. Um, I'll just show you briefly before I actually get into this section of the video. So yesterday I went to Card Factory. Um, got these Valentine's Day Haribo hearts got some ribbon because I said I was going to get some ribbon and I got this um, feeling cheeky toilet paper that has like little funny um, slogans on there that's all like kind of Valentine's Day cheeky themed. I don't know. Um, today's actual Valentine's Day so it's Tuesday the 14th of February. I am salty. I'm so salty today, guys. Um, I, haven't even, I haven't even got into what I'm actually doing in this section and I'm already telling you guys that I'm salty. I'm salty. The amount of men I've seen walking around with bunches of flowers in their hands, the amount of couples I've seen holding hands walking down the street. People in like my lectures saying, oh, yeah obviously i got i got a card from my from my partner from my boyfriend from my girlfriend like whatever like good for you but anyway i'm moving on to what this section is also i thought i would show you these flower petals that i got a little while ago um they're just pink ones that's that's what they look like individually anyway on to the section, so I'm doing all of my creative like stuff today um, outside of buying decorations. So um, I found these like really cool um, kind of voucher thingies um, that people have made on Pinterest that you can print out, cut out, and then give to your significant other. Like, I'll, I'll put a picture on screen. um yeah so i'm gonna make some of those rather than print them out just for a personal touch plus i have loads of sharpies and colored pens and highlighters and stuff i don't have the cutest handwriting in the world but i feel like it's just way more personal if i make them myself um i don't have plain pink paper so <laughs> it's so ghetto okay i could have gone and bought plain pink paper but number one um I'm a student and I'm broke. And number two, um, save the trees. So I'm gonna use one of these. I've like, folded it in half already, but that's just so I can figure out like how big the pouches are gonna be. And I have, my mom gave me this envelope and card thing. Um, and I'm just gonna use one of the cards, so or two and then I'm just gonna put them in the pink envelope so 
which looks like this. And I'm gonna seal off the envelope with a heart and I have post-it notes that I can cut into small hearts. And then on top of that, I'm gonna make a little um, thing to put on the back of the, like put on my cork board. Cause I have a cork board with like loads of pictures and stuff. You'll see that when I show you guys the before and after of my room. But like, here's an example of like ones that I've done in the past. I did one for my birthday, so that's that. Um, I've done a couple for when my boyfriend has come over in the past, but I'm just gonna make one that's Valentine's Day. So I'm gonna use the back of one of my weekly planner agenda thingies. This was from Poundland, it is actually quite great. Um, my one that's on the board at the moment is currently full of things because like this week is gonna be a very, very busy week. Um, but yeah, so that's that. And I'm just gonna be using my Sharpies and my highlighters and I'm just gonna get all of that sorted. And yeah, that's what I'm doing for Valentine's Day. And then after that, I'm just gonna eat some leftover egg fried rice that I made yesterday. And then I'm gonna do some laundry. Like I literally just wash some bed sheets so I can change them before he comes. And then that's it. I might do some, might do some revision. <laughs> I'll, I'll do some revision. Well, I might make this into a little time lapse or be back when they're done. I'm just, I'm just gonna use little clips of me doing it. I don't think I'm gonna do a whole time lapse, so I don't think that's necessary. So I will see you guys um, when it's done. When it's done, I'll show you. And then after that, I will see you guys on potentially Thursday, Thursday or Friday. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys out there, whether you're single or not, happy Valentine's Day. I hope that you've had fun. And if you've got a person, I hope they spoil you. If you don't have a person, I hope you spoil yourself because no one can love you better than you love yourself. So make sure you love yourself. And that is the quote for today, yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Is it cute? Because I don't think it's cute. I smudged it. Girl, that you could be down for. Have no fear. Who's gonna make you feel the way I do? Nobody, nobody. Say what, say what? Okay, guys, I'm back. I didn't film the whole process of me making the vouchers, um, but yeah, here they are. Um, I just, um, if you want to know what is on all of them it's literally the same as the picture that i put up earlier so like argument win for example instead of foot rub i put head rub because i'm not rubbing his feet no nah. anyway um but yeah that's that's what they all look like they all have like some sort of element which is different so they all look different like none of them are kind of modeled the same like that one has smiley faces this one has polka dots so it's all kind of different um, I'm going to put in this envelope, which came in the pack that my mum gave to me before I went to uni. Just 
that and on all of the vouchers and the envelope it says r plus a vouchers because his name begins with a my name begins with r so yeah so i'm just gonna put all of those in the envelope and then he'll open them um it was kind of sweet ew anyway um but now I'm gonna just use a post-it note, which is, I've got a few pink post-it notes. And I'm just gonna fold it in half and just cut a heart. Okay, hopefully this is a decent looking heart because, okay, quite decent looking. And I'm just gonna use glue I know it's sticky anyway, but I'm just gonna use glue to make sure it's secure on the envelope for when he opens it. So that's that's what the envelope looks like. So some some slight, some slight, some cute. So that's that. And then I've got like this spare so I think I might like stick it in that to make it different when I put it like on the board rather than just the white background like I've done in the past um just to show that this is a bit more special well whatever I do with it I'll I'll show you um in fact, you'll probably see when I'm done decorating the room because I'll show you what the whole room looks like. So that is all for today. I will see you in a couple days. Um, again, happy Valentine's Day. I'm not having the happiest Valentine's Day, but, you know, crafts always makes things a little bit better. Um, but yeah, see you guys later. Hi, guys. Sorry for the jump scare. Um... I do have a face mask on, but my boyfriend is coming today, so I'm doing a tiny bit of last minute skincare. Um, but I'm just doing like a bit of a flat tour or whatever. Um, I've just had a shower, so I just thought it would be a great time to do a flat tour, like have like cleaned up and stuff. And yeah, so it's just showing you what my place looks like before it's decorated so you can kind of see a before and after sort of thing you know um so this is the shower as you can see got the shower gel got the bar soap you know got everything you may need um my towel is hanging here and um, this is like you know those kind of rocks that smell nice that's what these are and they're pink just think they look cute um, and I'm going to put like some essential oils in there a bit later. This is like where my toothbrushes and toothpastes are. Um, there's Lego here. I use it to clean my makeup brushes. Yes, it's ghetto, but it works. Um, yeah, so one toothbrush is mine. The other is my boyfriend's. One is also my mum's for when she comes down. Um, yeah, that's the sink. I washed my hand towel recently, so... This is another mirror, by the way. Hi. Um, recently, so I'll put that there soon. Because, you know, just this is the toilet. This is, you know, just above the toilet. And then my cabinet of like 10 billion things. And these things couldn't fit in the cabinet. So, yeah. Um, this is the kitchen. I've got a couple things in the sink. So... Don't worry, they're just bottles, it's fine. Um, got my breakfast bar there, got toaster, you know, all of the cupboards, microwave, oven, stove, all of that sort of good stuff. Um, there's the front door, there's my keys, coats. Um, don't mind this, I'm going downstairs to the washing machines um, in a couple minutes after I take off this face mask, probably. Um, yeah, this is the radiator. Um, this is my desk. 
just got like my uni stuff over here and some other miscellaneous things um my diffuser all of my makeup stuff um ring light got all of my pictures that i printed out and my agenda in the middle then you can see like bags perfumes cards and stuff another one of the smelly rock thingies um this is my bed i know it's not straightened out just ignore it you know it's made so just just accept it um yeah so there's my teddies got my massive hello kitty hello kitty teddy with her lashes on because she's a baddie some ring lights and yeah yeah this is my wardrobe got my suitcase on top and yeah that is literally the room tour like it's nothing complicated it's nothing too too eccentric but um yeah and then the next clip will probably be me cooking and then after that it will be me decorating so i will see you guys then i've heard it all our conversations got me feeling i'm the fool like i should have listened when they said that you would treat me like he did mm -hmm. hey guys so i'm back you might have seen in the time lapse i put up the leds and um hello look how cool um it's just so cool like you can't see how cool it is because the lights are on but it looks so cool so so I'm dealing with all of the lighting stuff. So what I'm gonna do, I've taken off these fairy lights and I'm gonna put on my fairy lights. But um, yeah, I just wanted to speak about how cool my LED lights looked. That's it really. train to get here after that so basically i am running out of time and clearly i'm not ready like the decor is basically ready all i need to do like you guys can see um all i really need to do is like put down the rose petals on the floor but i'm gonna cook first i think i'll probably eat with him which i don't normally do like normally i eat beforehand but i don't have time to eat dinner at the usual time like my usual time to eat dinner has practically passed yeah because i normally eat it between six and like six and s maybe half seven is the times at the bracket and it's currently quarter past eight so i'm just gonna start cooking i'm gonna make it a time lapse i'm making creamy prawn pasta just in case i didn't say that before using philadelphia um instead of cream just so it's a bit cheesy it's very rich um, 
I'll practically do a time lapse. I'm using this sort of pasta. It should be really, really good. Um, I'll do a time lapse of a couple of the cooking moments. And yeah, I will see you guys probably when I'm ready because I'm filming a get ready with me at the moment as well. So um, yeah, the filming has definitely like contributed to the lack of time here, but it's completely fine. I don't mind. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys very, very soon. Maybe you take me, hope you don't take me. some rose petals and then I'm gonna show you what the whole room looks like um because I've literally I've got 15 minutes to be there and I always I'm, I'm supposed to be gone I'm supposed to be out of the house I've literally got 15 minutes to be there or just over 15 minutes I think I'm just gonna scatter rose petals I don't know I'm just I'm just kind of going with it just kind of going with the flow kind of thing <laughs> I'm majorly panicking, I'm panicking, but I don't even need to panic, it's fine. I know people normally write stuff with the rose petals and I was gonna do that but I don't have time currently so you know don't judge me I'm just kind of going with the flow and this was way less than it said on Amazon I'm just gonna take them off of the bed because it looks fucking stupid <laughs> I don't even know what this section of the video is anymore this is what happens, I start panicking and then just run out of time, run out of time. Okay. Okay, you guys, the dinner's cooked. I'm going to show you guys everything. I'm going to do it very, very slowly so I can put it at the beginning of the video and stuff. And yeah um thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much i've got to run i'm sorry that this outro was so scatty but you will see everything and everything looks nice and yeah thank you guys for watching I will to get to know